I think sometimes when we think of getting answers or we hear of getting answers, we think they come really fast. And so many people I know struggle because they don't feel like they're getting answers. Um, and they try and they do all the right things. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is, they think are the right things, but answers aren't coming. And I just know that I have really struggled and wrestled to get answers and um, it always hasn't been easy. And I just specifically remember one time that I went to do a study abroad in Jerusalem and it was kind of my first time really away from home. I was at college at BYU and we ended up in Jerusalem and I started questioning and wondering and really questioning if God heard my prayers and answered my prayers and everybody else seemed to have experiences but me. So then, of course, I go to what's wrong with me, that maybe I'm doing something wrong. And after months and months of prayer and fasting and pleading and wrestling, I just didn't feel like I was getting any answers. So I remember one day I got into our little apartment and there's four of us. And the only place where I could really be alone was the bathroom. You probably get that as a mom, right? Yes. <laughs> the only place you can be alone is in the bathroom. So I went into the bathroom and I closed the door and I turned on the water so that none of my roommates could hear me. And I remember just falling to the floor and saying, God, are you even there? I just need to know if you're there. And at that moment, the phone rang and my roommate was like, it's Catherine, it's for you. So I took the phone with the long extension cords into the bathroom and I answered, I'm like, hello. And it was my dad. And my dad said, I just felt like I needed to call. And I said, dad, I just don't know. I don't know if God's there. I don't feel like I'm getting any answers. And he kind of walked through what prayer looked like. And a lot of these words that Enos used, and we read Enos together and um, at the very end, he said something that has stayed with me forever. And he said, honey, know that I know. And until you can find out for yourself, trust in that and rely on that. And I hung up the phone. And for the first time in months, I felt peace. I felt okay because I knew that my dad knew. And I knew that he wouldn't lie to me. And I knew that I could find out on my own gradually over time. And that's what I did. And that's honestly why I'm teaching seminary wow. is it comes back to that know that I know. Um, and we all have to wrestle in our own time and in our own way. And it's going to come in different ways for all of us. But to understand that it will come in God's time.